This is a quick video I want to make. I got a floppy over here that I was trying to format. It's really a normal floppy and it has a lot of issues, a lot of errors trying to format it. This is by using applesauce. Not, not everybody has access to this tool, but it's the same thing. So I want to show how to try to fix a, a disk. The thing we're going to try to do is we're going to try to go in and look at the media and look at the inside. Remember when you put a disk on the front, the head is underneath. So actually you want to see the back part of the of the disc and just move it around and look at the disc see if you see any physical damage if there's a big physical damage most likely you won't be able to fix it like a you know a dent or a big scratch in there but you know so far i'm moving it and i, I can see some lines over there but i don't see any any real damage So my next step is going to be something that some people may be afraid to do, but you know, I think it's well worth it. I'm going to cut it with a cutter to open it and just um, <clears throat> take out the media from there. So very nicely, I'll just cut the top part. And now that I got it open, that's why I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to touch the media with my bare hands. So I open it up. Nicely, I take the media and take it out. I gotta remember how the 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 disc is here. There's um like a ring, so that's the front part. So I'm gonna cover here. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna examine it really good on both sides. It doesn't look like there's real physical damage. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna clean it with some alcohol. Here I got the disc on top of a little piece of cloth or paper towel I just wash it I'm rubbing alcohol and very carefully I'm gonna clean it up I don't know you guys tell me if I'm doing the right uh, there's a lot of pewters that I'm sure is gonna tell me that it's not the right way to do it but I already recovered a couple of them using this method so that's what I'm showing it So, clean it with rubbing alcohol. Look at it. Now that I got it over here, I'm gonna do the other side. Nothing else to lose, isn't it? I, it's already not working, so. Either it will work or it goes to the trash, so. There you go. Clean it up. As you can see, the alcohol is already evaporating. You can see I'm not touching the media with my bare hands, with my fingers. I'm touching it with the, with the gloves. And there you go. Both sides are done, they're dry. They're dry. I'm gonna remember, this is the front. That's the ring. I'm opening it, putting it again. And I'm gonna cross my fingers and see what happens. So here we go, the disc's in the floppy. Just gonna try to format the drive to see how it works. <clears throat> oh, seems like there's something on the track. Oh, oh no, it worked. formatted let's see the other side and let's do one thing let's try to image it instead of just format it see if it can read something in from there oh it's empty so i'm not even gonna try to finish it i'm just gonna format it
And there you go. Now we have this fat cat disc from Beagle Brothers and it's giving me errors right now. I owe error when I try to run it. So I'm gonna try to image it to see what kind of issues it has. As you can see, there's a lot of errors that is getting there. A lot. <laughs> Poor disc is bad shape. <clears throat> As you can see, the disc is in bad shape, at least electronically. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't read too much. I'm looking right now at the disc and I cannot see. And unfortunately, there's no other way that I can move it. I don't have any, any tools to move it and uh, examine, examine this in the right way. But, you know, I'm doing as best I can. And I don't see anything physically, like any damage physically. So, but I see a lot of kind of dirt. So I'm thinking about how can I do this? I, should I cut it out? I don't want to damage the, the disc, but at the same time, how can I access the disc without, without breaking it? All right, so to clean it, there is a cleaning device that I can put a link to it later, but I don't have it. So, what I just devised is uh, actually, or, or think about this, this is uh, the cap for um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol uh, bottle. This is the cap that it comes with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this cap through it very carefully and then close it. And by closing it, it's gonna allow me to kind of moving this, the disc without any, any issue. And at the same time, I'm gonna take a cloth and fill it with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, okay? Put it underneath, I'm grabbing both sides of the disc and then move it. So there you go, I'm moving the disc and I'm cleaning it at the same time. You can hear that it moves. I just move it, wash it, move it, wash it, move it, wash it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Making sure that I'm doing it right. Okay. Moving it, washing it, moving, washing, moving. And that's the machine that they sell online. That's what it does. A lot more elegantly of course but again I don't own one of those devices I'm not gonna take I'm gonna wait a couple of months to get it or weeks and I don't have too many of them to justify buying a machine just for cleaning those so there you go let's try it let's hope for the best hmm it's kind of working it's taking its time but Hey, look, most of them are being reading, have been read. Yep. Those two ones, I think they're, they're good data, just not being able to read it well. It's, so I'm going to try it a little bit later. Oh, there's still more bad data, but I don't know if that's because the, the disk is empty at that part or there's damage. Well, there's a green one, so maybe it's damage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that floppy drive 
and try it again. A floppy drive cleaner, I recommend you guys to buy one. These are really good, really useful. And I do this pretty often just because sometimes I get discs that are not really very clean. So let's try the bad ones again. Concerned about these ones, of course. Hey, okay, look. What about that? Let's try to boot it. Well, what about that? It works. There you go.